Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can make money with GPTs. You know, the ones that you can create in ChatGPT. I am going to break down what are the available options. And then I will also show you a quick tutorial on how to build a GPT that you can sell. I prepared this presentation. By no means it should be nice or, you know, well designed, but it should help me visualize what I'm talking about. So how to make money with GPTs. The first option is to create a custom GPT in ChatGPT, just like this one, with custom instructions, knowledge base, and perhaps some actions. Then you publish it in GPT Store, the one where you can find various GPTs available to the public. And the introduction of GPT Store was compared a lot to the introduction of App Store by Apple, and meaning the opportunity, because many people made a lot of easy money back in 2008 when App Store was introduced. And the expectation was that we could do the same with GPTs and GPT Store. I even made a video about this back in November. Now, during the OpenAI Dev Day event in November last year, Sam Altman said that OpenAI would introduce revenue sharing for GPT creators. Sounds good, doesn't it? Create a GPT, publish it in GPT Store, and earn some revenue share from OpenAI. Plus, you can introduce other monetization channels within your GPTs for some advanced features. But I am quite skeptical about this, and here's why. First of all, revenue share is not available yet. It was supposed to be introduced by the end of Q1 this year, but it wasn't, at least not for all. The only update we have for now is that OpenAI is partnering with a small group of US builders to test usage-based GPT earnings. Okay, let's assume it will be introduced by the end of this year. You would have to compete with a lot of established companies. When App Store opened in 2008, we had only 500 applications available. As of January this year, almost four months ago, according to OpenAI, more than 3 million custom GPTs were created. And according to the analysis done by the guys from SEO.ai, the GPT store had 159,000 public GPTs available. In the last four months, that number has grown significantly, that's for sure. It is very different to App Store in 2008. We are not comparing apples to apples here. No easy money would be available when the whole world is talking about it and pretty much everybody can build a custom GPT using natural language. So it seems the only way to make money from GPT Store at least for now, is if you can build a custom GPT that no one else can. And for that, you need to have access to unique data set that nobody else can access. It is a very rare situation. Probably 99% of us wouldn't be able to build such unique GPTs. And that's why I suggest that you consider the second option. First step, create a GPT. And then instead of merely publishing it in GPT store, you could transform it into an AI assistant or agent or chatbot, whatever you call that, and you can sell it. You can sell it to businesses, right? And that would be the very basic concept of an AI automation agency. I realized that everything I've covered so far is pretty obvious. Most of you probably already know that. I just wanted to keep things structured. Stay with me. Now I'm going to dive a bit deeper into which kind of GPTs you can build and sell, who might be interested in buying them. And later in this video, I will show you how to build one yourself. So which businesses need it? First of all, all, make sure to watch my last couple of videos on the channel where I break down the types of solutions you can sell and the different businesses you can sell to. And in the second video titled launching an AI automation agency, I walk you through every step to make that first sale. The list of solutions or GPTs that you can potentially sell is very long. It can be an assistant to schedule appointments, for example, for dental clinics, vet clinics, different beauty clinics, and so on. It could be a legal document assistant for law firms to generate and customize legal documents based on client inputs, such as contracts or NDA. It could be real estate agent capable of assisting clients by generating real-time property listings you know, based on specific preferences, then scheduling property viewings, and so on and so forth. As you can see, the list goes on and on. The selection of a niche to work with really depends on you, on your expertise, on your experience, on your social network, and on your research. If you are creative enough to spot a workflow that can really benefit from an AI assistant and it is not too obvious for everybody, then you should go for it because now is the best time. We are still in the early stages and there are still many people who are not aware of how useful this tech can be for their business. 
instances. For instance, an average owner of a dental clinic most probably doesn't follow all the AI announcements and possibilities as you do. They might not be aware that today the technology is advanced enough to build an AI voice receptionist that can replace or support their human receptionist to answer phone calls, accept bookings, provide customer service, etc. But you know, or at least you can watch my YouTube tutorials and learn how to do it. Now it comes to your ability to approach those business owners. If you know how to reach them, if you know how to sell to them, if you have business owners in your network, that's a big advantage. Better start leveraging it and start selling to them before someone else does. Okay, let's just take the first one here as an example, the healthcare appointment scheduler and build it together. Imagine this is a website of a wet clinic called Drool. And I'm going to add a custom GPT in a form of an AI chatbot to this site. Let's switch to a GPT builder within ChatGPT. As always, the three key components here are instructions, knowledge, and actions. Firstly, let's talk about instructions. I believe I may have overlooked this aspect in my previous tutorials by not stressing enough how important your prompt is for ensuring the quality of the chatbot's output. So there is a specific structure and you must follow it to ensure the best results. And I want to refer you to a one hour video by Liam Otley where he breaks down this structure in details and it is not coming from me or Liam. It is backed by real research. It is coming from papers written by researchers that actually study these things. And for example, research results say that when assigned an advantageous role, outcome accuracy is increased by 10.3%. And then on top of that, if you provide complementary descriptions of their abilities, you'd get even more increased accuracy totaling at 15 to 25%. So in this example, we give it a role, a virtual assistant for Drool Veterinary Clinic. The role is to provide customer support for pet owners. And then we complement that role by saying, your interactions aim to be helpful, reassuring and professional, ensuring that every pet owner feels supported and valid, okay? Then we have tasks, and one of the tasks is booking appointments. So whenever a customer wants to book an appointment, the chatbot would refer them to a calendar link that I have included in the prompt. Okay, I'm not going to go through each of these six components because it would take the whole video just to cover this part, but essentially you want to keep the prompt structure like this. Role, task, specifics, context, examples, and notes. And if you do it properly, you'll increase the performance of your assistant by a lot. A quick disclaimer, this prompt on my screen is generated by ChatGPT just for this demo and should not be used as a benchmark, okay? I recommend you to learn and really understand the function of each of these six components. Again, you can go and learn from Liam Otley's video and with that knowledge, you'll have no trouble engineering high quality prompts. Okay, moving on. The second part is adding knowledge base. This is also very important and should not be neglected. My knowledge base example was generated by ChatGPT, again, just for the purposes of this video, but essentially you include as much information about your business as possible. All the services, pricing structure, frequently asked questions, contact information, and so on. And then we have actions. But for this basic chatbot, I'm not going to include any actions so that any one of you could replicate it using plain English, only natural language with no additional coding or integrations. But if you want a separate video, a separate tutorial on how to use these actions, or you can call them tools, how to integrate them into your GPTs, into your chatbots, then let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to prepare one. All right, let's click update and quickly test how it works. Hi. What are your operating hours? It replies, we are open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays and 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. It's best to schedule an appointment to ensure you receive timely service. You can book directly here and booking link. If I click on it, on that link, I'll be redirected to Calendly where I can select the date and time. It says drool appointment here and I have the address. Then I can fill in my personal details and schedule that appointment. So it works as I expected. Now my goal is to transform this custom GPT into a chatbot that I can add as a widget to my Drool website. And for that, we are going to use a tool called VoiceFlow. Once you sign up with VoiceFlow, click new assistant, give it a name, say Drool assistant, select modality, chat, then language English, click continue, and create assistant. This is a default chatbot example. I'm gonna delete all of that. 
And all we need to do to replicate our custom GPT here is just copy and paste our prompt and knowledge base and then kind of build a chatbot with three simple steps in just like two minutes so it couldn't be any easier. Firstly, let's head to content, knowledge base and click add data source. I'll select plain text and copy and paste my knowledge base the one I just used for creating a custom GPT. Click import, and while it is loading, click on the gear icon at the top. Here, you can modify the settings if you wish, you can select the model, and in the system window, we need to paste our persona prompt, okay? I am switching back to my custom GPT, copy all of the instructions here, go back to voice flow, paste it as a system persona, click save, and that's it. Now let's switch back to the designer tab and build our three-step basic chatbot. The first step is adding a text block. This would be a welcome message, okay? Let's say, hi, welcome to Drool, how may I help? Okay, create a few more variants with AI. Then the second step is adding a capture block. Just leave it as it is, entire user reply, and last utterance. And the last step is to add an AI response block. Select knowledge base as a data source here and under question say answer user's question last utterance and just connect it back to the second block. Okay, our chatbot is ready. Let's give it a test. Click run here at the top. It says greetings, welcome to Drool, how may I assist you? I'll say hi, what are your operating hours? It replies correctly. Nice, I'd like to book an appointment for Tuesday. Is it possible? And it provides me with a link to schedule an appointment. If I click on it, I'll see the same Calendly event as before. I can select the date and time and schedule it. Let's ask it a few more questions just to see how it responds. Thanks. Can you also advise on the pricing for the first consultation? A consultation at Drool Veterinary Clinic is priced at $50. Thanks. What do I need to prepare for that first visit. And it provides me with a specific instructions to bring any medical records, a list of current medications, and a brief history of my pet's health and behavior. Well, for me, it is already sufficient to handle general questions and accept bookings, right? And to be safe, you can always include an instruction within your persona prompt to direct users to a real human receptionist if the chatbot doesn't know the correct answer. So now we need to deploy the chatbot to our website. Click publish, enter the name, and once it is published, we can click embed widget, just copy this script. So this is our site, right? No widgets here currently present. Now I'm going to the HTML of that website, paste that script here, save, go back to, to the website, refresh, and you can see that chatbot icon has appeared Let's quickly test it for the last time. Hey, what's your operating hours? It replies correctly. Nice. Can I book it for Saturday? And it provides us with the same Calendly link we used in our custom GPT. So as you see, you can build a complete chatbot in just 10 minutes without any coding skills. All you need to understand is which kind of business owners may benefit from it, how to reach them, and how to sell to them. Also, I'm sure you noticed I didn't actually have to use GPT Builder within ChatGPT, so we can avoid paying $20 for GPT Plus subscription. You can go directly to VoiceFlow and upload your knowledge base and persona prompt there. I just wanted to demonstrate that it is exactly the same thing, just a different interface. Now, when discussing types of solutions, I'd say there are three main options. The first one is creating custom GPTs with natural language only. This is what I just did, right? I only used English language to prepare the prompt and nothing more. This is the most basic option, the easiest one, right? And obviously the hardest one to make money with because more people can do it, there is more competition and there is no unique skill set that you can offer. The second option involves building this assistance and adding additional actions and functions on top of a basic AI chatbot. You can use chatbot builders like VoiceFlow and integration tools such as make.com. I also have quite a few tutorials where you can learn how to make a chatbot generate leads proactively, for example, or create social media posts or recommend products to users and even build a voice assistant. Following my videos, you can 
do it without any coding at all. So feel free to check them out and learn how to do it. And the last option is to develop these solutions from scratch. So for that, you require decent software development skills. This is definitely the most advanced and valuable solution type because you are not limited by chatbot builders. You're not limited by voice flow. You're not limited by integration tools. You can code any solution you require to fit the specific need of a business you are trying to sell to. For example, you can build custom integrations with CRM booking systems. You can build a scraping solution to provide the customers with dynamic knowledge base that would be able to update online. And this is exactly what we do at our AI agency. We build things like lead qualification chatbots, product recommendation chatbots, AI receptionists for cleanings, for hotels, and various custom built solutions. So there is a lot of room a lot of flexibility when it comes to solutions that are feasible for us and that's why we provide much more value than just building an AI chatbot. You're welcome to check it out at bosar.agency. If you're looking for an AI solution, get in touch and we can discuss it. Now, what can you do if you are not a skilled developer? Try being creative. Let me share a recent real life example. One of our channel subscribers reached out to me last week and said, listen, I don't have this technical expertise that you do, but I have ideas about how to sell these solutions. So what do you say if I represent your agency and I earn commission based on completed deals? I said, okay, let's do it. So we agreed on commission terms and we are going to work together now. You can do the same and partner with existing AI agencies, the ones you can trust or you can team up with a developer and start your own agencies. There are different ways for you to take advantage of this opportunity, even if you are not capable of building these solutions by yourself. So start testing your ideas because execution is everything. No actions equals no results. I love learning through execution, you know, while doing it. I hope you'll do the same. Technology is moving so fast. It feels like GPT-5 might drop any minute now. And with this next wave of AI excitement, businesses will be all over it. Getting in early as an expert means riding that wave to big success, I'd say. And that is what I wish you all. Okay, do not forget to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, tell me about your, I don't know, favorite movie, tell me why it is your favorite, watch some other videos on my channel, there is a lot of free value there. And thanks for watching this one, I'll see you soon, bye.